Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential system. Why do I call it a system? Because there are two equations. We have 2 to the power x equals 3 to the power y and 3 to the power y equals 5 to the power z. And we're supposed to evaluate z over x plus z over y numerically. We're going to find the exact answer for this problem. Okay? And I'll be presenting at least two methods. I say at least because I might just introduce an alternative. At the end, we'll see how this goes. So let's start with the first method. So I want to get z over x. So let's go ahead and take a look. I have z here and I have x here. So let's go ahead and put those together. 5 to the power z equals 2 to the power x. Now, if I raise both sides to the power, let's see, I want to raise both sides to the power, 1 over x, and that's going to give me z over x here, 5 to the power z over x equals, x is going to cancel out, and that's going to give me a 2. I haven't gotten z over x, but I got it in the exponent. So how do you bring it down? You can log both sides, right? Let's do it. Which log are you going to use? You can use base 5, you can use any other base, but I'm going to use natural log, which is ln. Let's move this a little bit to the right so we have some space. And let's go ahead and log both sides. And I'm going to be using base 10, like I said earlier. Log this and log that. You don't have to use parentheses, but you can do if you want. Bring the z over x to the front, z over x times log 5 equals log 2. Awesome. And from here, by way of division, you get z over x equals log 2 over log 5. Remember, we were looking for this, and we got part of it. Actually, not the whole thing, but part of it because we also need to find z over y. z and y means we're going to use 5 and 3. So let's do the same thing. 5 to the power z equals 3 to the power y. And remember, our goal is to find z over y. So let's go ahead and raise both sides to the power 1 over y. And you probably know y, right? Because y cancels out. And we end up with 5 to the power z over y equals 3. Awesome. This is another good thing, right? Now what do we do next? We're going to go ahead and log both sides again. Let's do it. If we log this and log that, now we can move the power again, c over y, multiplied by log 5 equals log 3. And from here, we can basically solve for z over y, just like before, divide both sides by log 5, which is a number, right? Log 3 over log 5 is going to be the answer. So. We got z over y and we got z over x. What do you think we're going to do next? Add them up. Be because that's what we need. z over x plus z over y is equal to log 2 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5. Now you could also work with different bases like 2 and 3. But using a common base, which is the common logarithm in this case, will be easier in my opinion. Now notice that we have a common denominator. So what does that mean? You don't have to make one, you can just add the numerators. Let's go ahead and add the numerators. Log 2 plus log 3 all over log 5. Is that the answer in the simplest form? No, because we have the sum of two logs. How do you simplify that? What is log a plus log b? Let's go ahead and write down the identity or the formula or the rule or whatever you want to call that. Log A plus log B is log AB. Obviously A and B have to be both positive, so on and so forth. But this is one of the properties of logarithms. Yeah, properties I think is a good word. Anyways, so if you have a sum of two logs, you can turn it into a single log, which is called condensing. And if you do the opposite, it's called expanding. Okay? So this will become log 2 times 3 divided by log 5. And that can be written as log 6 over log 5. You can leave it at that if you want, 
or if you want to write it with a single log you can use what's called change of base formula how does that work let me show you if you have log a over log b that can be written as log a with base b so the base is at the basement at the bottom you see that you see how that works hopefully you do that's the change of base and it's a super duper important property cool now this can be written as then five is at the bottom so that's going to be the base log six with base five if you write log five with base six they're not the same they're actually reciprocals because if you use change of base on this you're going to notice this is log 5 over log 6 and log 6 over log 5 and log 5 over log 6 are reciprocals you see that okay so that will be the answer in pretty much the simplest form i mean can you make it simpler i don't think so if you use a calculator and try to find the numerical value it's only going to be an approximation that's why this is the exact value this brings us to the end of the first method only and let's continue with the second method all right ready okay now second method is going to use a slightly different approach let's rewrite the problem 2 to the x equals 3 to the y equals 5 to the z and we're supposed to find z over x plus z over y great now you can take out the z here if you want right obviously or leave it like that doesn't matter no big deal so from here we basically want to find z over x and how do we find it right so we have to find some relationship between these two expressions so here's what i can do i can go ahead and write this 5 to the z equals 2 to the x as before remember what we did first we divided both sides by something right we raise both sides to the power something so now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to raise both sides to the power 1 over x again. And of course, this is going to cancel out. So I don't think I have to do that again. I could just show you, right? Oopsies. So let's go ahead and erase this part and rewrite it. So since I have 5 to the z equals 2 to the x, this basically implies 5 to the power z over x equals 2. Because all I do is divide the exponents by x. Make sense? And similarly, if we have 5 to the z is 3 to the y, we can go ahead and divide by y here. And that gives us 5 to the power z over y equals 3. And we're looking for z over x plus z over y. Let's go ahead and multiply these two equations side by side. The left hand side gives us 5 to the power z over x plus z over y because when you multiply two powers with the same base, you add the exponents. And what is 2 times 3? 6. Awesome. Now, by using the definition of logs, you can write this as log with base 5 because the base is 5. Notice that. So what is log used for? Log is basically used like if you have an equation like 2 to the power a equals 5, here a is found by logging. And the base is going to be 2. In this case, we need to log 6, which is the answer with base 5 to get the exponent. Make sense? That's how logs are used and that would be the answer because we were looking for z over x plus z over y and I think I'm going to stop here. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care and bye-bye.